Yes, 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 we're here, we're here, we're here. We did prompt upon you to see the ah, the influencer promising his followers that the world could be healed. And we are saying that is outdated information. Uh, but he has very limited metaphysical connections. He is talking through ego and through his knowledge from other human egos. So he doesn't have the bigger perspective of what's going on. Uh, we are saying, uh, how could you? We always will protect you. Regardless of the situations, we will always protect you. We've been upgrading the humanoid bodies for as long as there have been humanoid bodies. And so as free will choices are created to change the environment of the planet that is impacting on the bodies uh, we have been seeing that this is people's free will versus life contracts uh, people's free will have corroded this planet and there is going to have to be a gigantic change of consciousnesses for you all to respect the technology that could heal the planet but we are saying it's beyond repair. It is completely toxic energetically and physically. Uh, you may not want to see it. You may not want to notice it. And that is fine. Uh, but you just need to look at the ramifications of what this toxicity is doing around the world. You are seeing much more extreme natural in quotation marks natural events you could say that the weather is being over exaggerated because of all of the human free will choices to impact earth this way uh, it is a very fine balance in having a planet in complete balance and harmony and when we see humans try to revolutionize with industrial industries, ways to make profit, ways to empower and help, we are saying um, that even your computer systems, uh, the, the minerals that have been mined out of the planet, um, there is a disproportionate balance there. And so while there is those rev, uh, reserves of certain minerals, they needed to be respected. And so when you use up certain amounts of minerals, uh, you deplete them, you cannot recycle them back into the original raw format. And if you were aware of how to use them as organically to empower yourself, you wouldn't have been choosing and using certain uh, materials and minerals because they are not sustainable and there is much more to be said about this but you understand it wasn't really about creating industrial planet it was about having a beautiful balance with the emotional range of connections with soul family members living here on earth but you have got so distracted from that you are still half in the rat race so to speak and while many systems are being disclosed as not as once reliable as they should have been, could have been, would have been. We see uh, that many people are awakening as individuals are being impacted uh, through the Grand Awakening. The Grand Awakening is being uh, one that it comes at a personal level. It has to impact you on a personal level for you to wake up to notice that following and complying necessarily is not the most empowering part of your way of life, but this is purposeful. Everyone had many opportunities to feel into their own intuition, to notice uh, the disinformation 
uh, given through the main narratives. Uh, so it's free will choices. And those who have exited already realize when they reflect back that they saw all the opportunities to awaken, uh, but for whatever reason, they were not willing to step into that next awareness. And so some are quite happy. They did exactly what they wanted to do, and they did not want to awaken to the crimes against humanity. They just wanted to connect enough with their soul family members here to be able to be loving and caring and balance and a an emotional rock. <laughs> we say sometimes those emotional rocks get abused because they are not reactive to the world. And we say sometimes emotional stability rocks are very grounding for you. Some of you are frustrated that you don't have partners that are not exactly the same as you, and not willing to dive into metaphysics in the same way as you. But there needs to be a balance and those emotional support rocks <laughs> ground you. We understand many of you get frustrated. Oh, you boy, you get so frustrated with them. You are not Siamese twins. You are not carbon copies. You're individual souls. And while you're both surrounded with source energy because you both are source energy essences, independence of life contracts must be honored. It must be respected. And you will know when you are pushing someone against their life contract because it is like pushing. <laughs> hmm. It is like pushing a stubborn elephant who refuses to move and budge. And doesn't matter what you can do to coerce it, whether it is a tantrum or whether it is a treat. Uh, to inspire them to move forward you cannot make them do such in fact it's just a distraction on your own journey as you are feeling like you need support in your own growth we understand many of you like to do things in a community and that is beautiful but your own self-empowerment is an independent experience how can you truly empower yourself when you're leaning on others we understand that leaning on others is fantastic, but what are you really leaning on? Do they have their own true stability and inner peace and balance to be able to be a support system for you? We want you to explore all of your purposes and what you truly want and how you what your true agenda is, where you treat your family and friends. What are you really seeking from them? And in return, what are you truly returning back to them and providing for them? Is it compassion? Is it unconditional love? We see so many of you are hurt because you don't have confidence to empower self. And so you're lashing out all the people who are not helping you empower self. And we say you can only empower self. And it is taking the time to focus on what is in your mindsets. What is your perceptions? What is your sticking points? What is your hurts? What is your fears? It is time for you to have some moments alone to really see what goes on in your mind. When you're stopping and distracting yourselves from entertainment and distractions. When you really sit with yourself, what comes up? What do you have to let go? What do you have to unpack to be able to let go? It is significant for you to honor all that pops into your mind. Dismissing it will just keep it paused for another day, another moment, another time. If you're sick of looping, if you're sick of being frustrated by the same problems over and over and over again, unpack it to see the lesson that this was providing for you. 
and find the way that it was meant to empower you and grow from it and appreciate the challenge, appreciate the experience and have gratitude for once again the lessons others have been able to give you. And for those of you who still hope that this planet can be healed, you may not be the collective that is moving to the new earth or is possible to move to the new earth. And we understand that this is still your home and still a dear planet experience for you. And we are saying that when we have been able to protect you for so long, we have been doing many things to support the planet for it to not be as impacting on you. While there are many that are impacted by life contracts for certain exit points, this is very purposeful and significant in accordance to the life contract given. We say that many systems here on this planet will not want to evolve and change. And so when you have systems that many people are loving and complying and want to and are very driven to manage and potentially run themselves, the CEOs of the companies and the directors of the companies, for example, they're so fixated on just getting that position, they don't seem to really notice the actual impact of what their uh, businesses and companies and industries are really doing to this planet and we see many shortcuts uh, for profit uh, this is being part of your food systems with your genetically modified foods for example uh, through uh, water processing through soil manipulation and processing uh, all animals who have been uh, hyper farmed have been given a various a range of antibiotics and many treatments that um, can always go into your own personal system as this is part of the consuming that being and so we are aware of this and we have had to upgrade your body so many times to not not be impacted by it uh, if it's not part of your life contract many who have actually created and was behind uh, some of these what they hoped was going to be beneficial to humanity which has been manipulated and turned into something that is very detrimental to humanity uh, they felt so terrible about it in their life reviews that they actually wanted to come back here to earth to live and be impacted by it some who didn't uh, see the problems when they were living I feel like they must experience the products of their own creations to be able to feel to feel and learn from it and of course it's a choice this is not a karmic uh, punishment that we have chosen on them they have wanted it for themselves and this is why many 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 people are having very challenging lives now as you are wanting to experience what you have uh, impacted others with. And while there are no others that are holding you accountable and wanting you to pay, they are aware of the systems. And so they are, and they could be having their own life contracts to, to work in the systems that did impact them just to be able to understand how it is so easy to be lost in the distractions of status in the workplace and status in the social circles versus being consciously and socially and morally accountable for the outcomes and the output of uh, certain companies and industries. They trust many beneath them to have done enough of their own research to know morally right from morally wrong and we are saying a true leader can trust all but also know that everyone is going to be honest with integrity 
and we know that some have not seen, shall we say, the Judiths in the mixed. And so even good intentional influences have been corrupted by their own Judas, shall you say, which you would understand as someone that's self-sabotaging, not only uh, one person, but for many. We also want to remind you that the soul's planet, the planet of the soul, Gaia, the soul of this planet, Gaia, she wanted to expand into the fifth dimension here, and it's not possible. And it was much deliberation and communication amongst many to be able to see if it was possible. But humanity's choices and behaviors, uh, there has to be massive destruction of natural disasters or some other dramatic event to get people to feel into each other, to connect in with each other, to want to communicate with each other, to want to be able to be of service for each other. And so uh, living the normal human life is is so much um, energy draining. <laughs> uh, and so even though the planet's soul has stepped fully fully away um and while there's still connection there there are many people many beings well yes there are many people supporting the energy as well as many beings supporting the energy to keep the high frequency vibrations going so those who are still needing the experiences to organically awaken to their own life contracts themselves and also to be able to have the significant life experiences that they have predetermined for themselves, uh, we are keeping the lights on, shall we say. It is a tremendous toll on all who are supporting this. And so this cannot be a forever thing. And we could predict that humans would not come together in true harmony because there is still so much corruption and dishonesty and so much manipulation and it is all around money and we understand many people are saying when the currency systems change this will be all different and you'll all be millionaires and we say do you know many polite kind-hearted loving compassionate millionaires and when you again all millionaires <laughs> we know that there are some Obviously, um, there are some great humanitarians who like to share their wealth. But we are saying the more money you have, the less compassionate you seem to be uh, to others uh, who have less. Um, and you actually shut them out. And we could say the fact that there is still uh, so many proportions of this planet starving and are homeless and has been for so long and the conditions of water the conditions of living is so well we could say judgmentally that it is very it's very primitive it's even beyond what you could call in class caveman and while that had some brutality experiences because it was very roar and the law of nature was very firm and unforgiving uh your experiences on earth have come different and so while there is beauty and joy to still be had even for someone who was living what you could consider rough it's all perspective of what that soul wanted but you can understand from our perspective that there is so much disproportionate balance of wealth that uh, there are so many people that are struggling to know what to use their money on, whether it is for food or whether it is for power. And these people have been working for a long time and these people have been trusting the systems 
and now the systems are squeezing them out of their own comfortable way of life and this is alarming for many and this has been happening for a long time and so when is this going to change you must question all things and all systems because there is not going to be there is not going to be a magical financial system because people have still greed in their hearts when they are wanting to be leaders in a country and in a industry and in an influential influential position they still see differences in others they still judge the wealthy is a better class of person and so are you waiting for the rich to give balance and harmony to the world because they've always had the opportunity and so what technology could you foresee that could suddenly empower humanity you know that this technology has been around and been given to you many times. And those rich, wealthy people have withheld that from you continually for well over a century, for a very long time beyond this century. And so <laughs> to think that things could change here would be a very optimistic person and we know that that is good in intentions but the density doesn't seem to allow it and the lack of inner work doesn't seem to allow it and the structures and systems here doesn't seem to allow it even when and if you will see a destruction um, and collapse of political systems and medical systems and educational systems when you see those industries and those systems collapse, what do you think is going to come through that? And yes, it is about communities and unity that will always support and get you back to connecting truly and deeply with each other. And that will be fantastic. But we also see that there is a situation where you're running out of what you call time as there is much demand and as more and more people are shifting at a daily rate uh, there is not that much for those who are waiting and supporting and so once there is enough that have shifted as they needed to be and as, what, as much as there is those experiences had as we wrap up here it is significant what is to come and we have over deliberated this every every nuance every aspect every angle and we have given humanity so many choices to come together truly truly as a consciousness awareness to empower ourselves and there is just too much division and there's always been too much division there's too much distractions and so the when collectively you can't focus on much together as a collective, uh, it is a disconnected growth. And so this is why we're having to support at this more closer rate. But when this planet is not going to be survivable, and when but due to not only the condition of this planet, but the condition of humanity's behaviors and consciousnesses, perceptions, it's still not evolving uh, into a stronger unity. And so for those who are holding the show up, 
they get to experience more old earth experiences to understand what they have been focusing on is truly insignificant because what really is making you rich is your health and your family and your connections to self and to others. And it's not about the money in your bank and it's certainly not about the cars you drive. And so it's about shaking up people's perspectives. This should have been learnt in the lockdowns for the worldwide lockdowns where everyone got to deeply connect in with each other to really truly understand the significance of who is important in your lives and who you should be mindful and considerate of. We have so much to be said about all of the grand awakening. We understand some of you are so impatient because you know what is to come is marvelous so that you just want to shift to the new earth now. And we understand that and we deeply do and we deeply support and cherish you for being so patient and still being so tolerant as so many still need to have the independent experiences to awaken naturally and organically themselves. We are doing much <laughs> to awaken and it's becoming absurd now how much we are disclosing to make people stop and question people's sanity, people's truth, people's integrity, people's honor, people's moral compasses. There is so much out there of truth that you only need to look at just slightly the surface away from the mainstream narrative to be able to get the uh, to get the truth out there but we also understand so many people are not a wanting and willing to be able to find the real truth the full truth because it's too scary they don't want to lose their carbon-based bodies and they certainly don't want to lose their homes, their social status. And so they resist the truth. The truth scares them. And we are saying that is fine. We do not mind. Do whatever you need to do to keep your frequency vibrations at a higher rate and focus always on love. Anything that's in your mind that is not of love, please deal with it correctly. Don't dismiss it. Unpack it. Love it. Learn from it and grow from it and release it and heal and move on because when you are not just focusing on higher frequency love and joy and acceptance and inner peace then you are dragging and collecting too much density and for those who do not know what to do with the density and feel too overwhelmed with the density we have given you many tools to be able to help you profoundly relax and relax the body and relax the mind and that has been called the white light healing meditation. And that is a gift for all who want to take ownership of their free will to be able to take some time to relax and go within and to feel the energy of source and to be able to have the connection again to a higher frequency that nurtures and loves not only your body, but your consciousness and your soul. And we ask for you to be encouraging yourself and celebrating every day forward every day forward is a gigantic experience for the soul it is amazing what you're all doing and it is frankly quite mind-blowing from us to see you still trying really hard to release the density and continue on with your integrity with your moral compass and with your great compassion for yourself and others we see you working really hard and we support you all we understand this is challenging but you knew that your soul was going to be able to handle it and in true honesty your soul is handling it and so honor the soul relax that busy mind and trust all is well. Wow.